I have elephant singular. But as Steph said, it is a day where we at Safari Live and Wild Earth are going to be celebrating elephants. So a very good afternoon to all of you and welcome to the Sunset Safari. For those of you that are new to these live safaris, my name is Jamie and this afternoon, Jandre is on camera with me. And we are live here in the Maasai Mara of Kenya. So while Steph goes off in search of leopards, lurking around twin dams we are actually going to make our way back to where we saw a tiny tiny little lion cub last night but i couldn't stop no oh, i couldn't resist stopping for this old gentleman elephant some of you i think will recognize him he spends a lot of time around here at the base of the escarpment where our road down from camp meets the mara and he's very, very easily recognizable. He spends lots of time here. Occasionally we see him hanging out with the ladies, but most of the time he's all by himself, <clears throat> as is relatively typical of a bull elephant of this age. He might occasionally have a male companion or two to keep him company, usually younger males. But for the most part, he enjoys some time on his own. And this is a particularly marshy spot and since the rain hasn't come for the last i would say about two weeks now everything's starting to dry up it's starting to get quite dusty and he's taking full advantage of the remaining green grass around this area it's where all the water flows down from the escarpment and collects in this area he is very clearly identifiable though it's his tusks i think that make him so so easy to spot. One, both quite long, but one on the right much, much thicker than the other. Riti, uh, yes, a lone elephant could be attacked by a lion. A lion singular, no. And a big mature bull like this one, almost definitely not. But there are certain lion prides that do specialize in attacking and killing elephants, usually only when they're desperate at certain times of the year for something to feed on. And usually what you'll find is that they tend to go for the younger males, males that are away from a breeding herd because it's much safer for them to try and target those young bulls because there's less of a chance of somebody or one some of the other elephants coming to the rescue. So although you might think logically that a, an elephant calf would be a good target, in fact there's no point in the lions trying to attack an elephant calf because the entire herd will band together to protect that little one but a young male off on their own it is a possibility it will not be one lion it will most definitely be more than one lion probably around about between 10 and 15 even more than that ideally and then it's going to take a very very long time a big bull like this one i would say is not at risk especially not here in the Maasai Mara where the lions have plenty of easier meals to grab. There's baby Topi wandering about everywhere. There's lots of zebras around. It would be foolhardy to tackle a gentleman of this age. And most of the time you'll see the elephants wandering past without even giving the lions a second glance. Sometimes they go and chase them if they're a little bit too close. But otherwise, it is a peaceful existence free from the attentions of the apex predator out here. And don't forget, because this is a live safari, hashtag safari live is how you get your question answered. If there's something that you would like to know, you could also send through your comments. And as I said yesterday, puns always appreciated. Right, it's not just myself out here that would be rather silly in this massive area that we drive around in in the Masai Mara. Brent is out as well. I don't know where he is, but I'm sure he'll tell you.